What's up nail crew? Let's do some fun color blocking. The first thing I like to do when I'm doing a color block, since I use peel base, is I like to dip a layer of clear underneath the nails that I'm gonna color block, and then I activate it and buff it. This way your peel base is protected from the tape when you apply it. If you don't apply that first layer of clear and then activate and buff it, if you go straight in with the tape over the peel base, you will peel up all your peel base that you had just put on as soon as you take off your tape. And that, that is not fun because then you'll end up having to file off your man. Now I'm gonna go through and do my other nails that I'm not doing the color blocking on. I'm going through and I'm dipping my glitter dip, which is Iceman from OG Dip Powder Crew. And it is such a beautiful silver glitter. I wanted to make it the star of this mini along with the color block. So and then I go through and right now you'll see me just doing a strip buff on the clear dips just to make sure that I got them nice and shaped well before I go and apply a tape. Okay, now. The tape is the hardest part of the color block. I struggle the worst with getting the tape in the right place. As you can see, I am fiddling around, fooling around. I personally like to use painter's tape. I noticed that it just holds on down to my nail the best, and then I don't get any liquids underneath the tape. So you really wanna make sure like once you decide, okay, this is exactly where I want my painter's tape you wanna really press it down and make sure it's like up against your cuticle as well. So then you'll go through and you'll gently apply your liquids onto the side that does not have a tape on it. And I'm doing the shimmer color first, negative ghost rider, and I like to pour it over. This way I'm not getting it like all over the painter's tape. And I pour the second layer of dip over. And when I'm doing a color block like this, since I build my apex with builder gel underneath, I can go through and both layers of dip are directly to the back of my cuticle when I'm applying the dip. So then you very, very gently take off the tape. And this is the hardest part, the other hardest part for me too. I'm normally really rough with ripping off the tape, but I was trying, been trying so hard when I do color block to very gently take it off. You wanna very gently peel it back so that you don't mess up one side of your color block. And then you can apply your dip liquids to the other side of your nail that does not have any color on it. And you just fill in real carefully, fill in like you see me doing there, where you need to put your, your glitter or whatever you can do. Two solids, two shimmers, a, gl a glitter and a shimmer, a glitter and a solid, two glitters. You can go through when you're, the nice thing about doing a chunky glitter on half of it is you can go back through and place big glitters wherever you missed any spots. So that's what I was doing on my middle finger. I wanna place a couple extra of the big chunkies all over that side of my color block and it's really easy. You'll just dab some base wherever on the chunky glitter application that you want some extra big chunks and take a toothpick or a wax tool and gently place the bigger pieces of chunky glitter right there where you had dabbed dip liquids. And I go through and finish the rest of my color blocking, applying the chunky glitter and putting some extra chunky glitter pieces on my other side of my color block just for some extra pop of that gorgeous glitter dip. The next step is super important for doing color blocking, you want to encapsulate the entire color block nail in clear dip. This way, when you go to buff, you don't accidentally buff off any of the glitter or mess up your you color block you just did. And I always like to encapsulate all of my mayonnaise with OG Dip Powders Clear called Original Glass. It is crystal clear, and this way I don't ruin any of my mayonnaise by using a cloudy clear because of that will totally mess up all the work you just did if you use a cloudy clear. So then I went through, I activated, I buffed and filed and shaped. I did all that off camera since I've done that in some of my other videos, and oh, you can see I'm clumsy. <laughs> now I'm gonna go through and do my top coating. I chose to do this with gels. For sake of time, I just wanted to finish up quickly. It was late at night when I was doing this mani. So I always wipe off my nails with isopropyl alcohol before I apply my gel base and gel top. And then I applied my gel base on all my nails, making sure I kept my edges, secured that for 30 seconds, then went back through Use gel top coat on all of my nails, capping the edges again, and then cure that for 60 seconds. Here's my color block mani, and click this link below to learn more about doing your dip nails with an all gel method. Thanks so much, nail crew.